Is she following me or what? What a pain in the ass. And then I went home to have a heart attack, <laughs> which took me a while. Huh? Click on a cell, drag to select release. Select strings of two, three, or four cells. So th these three. Okay. I see the 50, but 50, 39, 5C, 8. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. It, okay. Got it. C, C5. Wait, what? FB. C5. E4. Wait, what? Yes, 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 okay. yes, I got it. Now I'll run a macro to automatize the process and encrypt all my data into the VHS tape. Now I can totally wipe everything for myself. See you at home, admin permission. Is she following me or what? What a pain in the ass. What are you doing in here, Angela? Oh, yes, Kendra. Nothing, I'm leaving. And what are you carrying there? Angela Solano, please. We're waiting for you in the lobby exit. Oh, sorry, they're calling me. I have to go. Talk to you later, okay? That was close. Wait, where'd she go? Uh-oh, is she trying to check and see what we're doing? Angela Solano, please. I'm here. Hey, Angela, ¿qué pasó? What took you so long? Ah, uh, I had to finish something, Joe. Es mi turno, ¿verdad? Bueno, claro que es tu turno. I called you twice. Put your phone in there and just go home, for Christ's sake. Okay, looks like you're good to go, Angela. Everything is clean. Hey, pero what's up with the VHS tape, eh? And you have all those comet shorts on the W Max platforms. Ah, well, doblaje Puerto Rican original. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nothing That's right. I forgot they redubbed it. A rights dispute with the voice actor, wasn't it? Yes. Wow. Yeah. That's right, Joe. <laughs> bueno, te veo el lunes, ¿sí? Of course. Get some rest and see you next Monday, Angela. <sighs> Run for it, just in case. And then I went home to have a heart attack, <laughs> which took me a while since I lived in the far side of Walton employee housing facilities. In fact, I thought about moving closer to the dome for the whole Trevor operation. But come to think of it, living so far away saved me a lot of trouble later. But I digress. The thing is, I finally got to my apartment. Okay. Welcome home, Angela Solano. <sighs> At last. Now I need to convert the video info back to code again to recover my admin permissions and check on Trevor too. Is that my phone? What is that? Are you kidding me? Kovacs, this is number six. Did you manage to preserve your admin permissions? Shut up! I stuck to the plan. I did everything you told me. And you... What the hell happened at the checkpoint? The jingle happened. The chick... What? What? What on earth is the jingle? Something Kovacs mentioned a long time ago. The real Arpad Kovacs. Uh -huh. Mr. Kovacs, were the discrepancies between you and Don Walton the main reason for your departure from Walton Media? Kind of. Donald and the board of directors were interested in developing methods to make it physically impossible for the Arcadians to leave the city. They even wanted to experiment with my Visiorama system for their realignment techniques, as they called them, which I categorically refused to let them do. Okay. Probably that refusal had something to do with my departure from the company. What did these techniques consist of? The most popular was a low-frequency sound to generate reverse aversion in the Arcadians. They called it the jingle. Excuse me, Mr. Kovacs. Well, that sounds a little bit like science fiction to me. And even if it were possible, wouldn't that be illegal? With the Burbank Act, I doubt it. 
Otherwise, how do you explain that nobody has left the city since the Arcadia 6 breakout? How come you guys didn't know about the jingle? Because it did not exist when we got out. <sighs> Damn it. If Trevor has that jingle thing in his head, how are we going to get him out? Remember I asked you to preserve your admin permissions? You did that, right? You're going to need them to operate one of those rental cars that some tourists use. Rental car? You mean like a Swift? Yes. Now get him on the road in one of those cars, and as soon as Trevor hears that noise again... I take control of the car and get him across it, right? That is it. Whew, easier said than done, but I'll try my best. You need to erase this plan. We are counting on you. <laughs> Our Trevor Escape Master Plan, co-developed with Breakout itself. Uh, you need to erase this, because this is literally evidence. The Arcadia Stage Technician Manual. When I started working at AA, I was expecting a wiki, not a medieval tome. Okay, thought I could open it or something. I spent a fortune on the scratching post, but Tally is more interested in simple cardboard boxes. Oh, there's a cat somewhere. Oh, here it is. Hola, Tally. Que pasa, mi cielo? Okay. Broke the fourth wall. A poster of the Arcadia 6 incident. The interceptor is visible in the background here. There's something about this. It wouldn't surprise me if the guy that's the head of security is like one of the guys here. But there's got to be something. Like this girl right here is center stage and... Like, you can't really read those. You can only read these two. So it's kind of like, okay, someone high up is on the inside. I don't know who. All Walton employee housing have gorgeous views of the Arcadia Dome. Quite a perk, huh? This is super futuristic. What the? Sticky notes? If someone ever saw these sticky notes, I'd be in big trouble. Oh, this is literally the plan. You need to throw this stuff away. If someone literally just came into your apartment, all the evidence is here. I don't understand. I look so happy in this picture of my first day in Walton Media. Ah, ignorance is bliss. Our Pad Kovacs' autobiography. No rational explanation. A strictly forbidden read according to all Walton Media employee regulations. If I keep up this crappy high-sugar diet, I should be able to develop type 2 diabetes in no time. Okay. I'm gonna explore around, get more of uh, who we're dealing with with Angela. After I was moved to the 21st floor to work in AA, Breakout contacted me and handed me this pamphlet. Yeah, someone high up is in breakout. One of these days, I will get around to tidying up my apartment. I swear it. Always squeaky clean. I wouldn't like to inconvenience the lady of the house. It's kind of depressing to realize your cat has a healthier diet than you do. Yeah, you got pizza everywhere. I picked the wrong week to stop eating junk food. Is that a espresso machine? Cappuccino machine? One of those. Okay. What's upstairs? A picture with Dylan and Sophia. <laughs> we RPG'd through our UCF college days. My cousin Barbara and my mom. Hey. Okay. That's cool. Trying to make sure I don't trigger like what I'm supposed to do. I believe what I'm supposed to do is go to that computer and plug the VHS in and do the code and all that, but I want to double check everything. My god, how I love Mexican B movies. Hey, okay. you got clothes everywhere, girl. All right, yeah, looks like we're good. 
If I was given the option, I would literally just clean all of this. This switch lowers all the blinds in this room. A little bit of privacy always comes in handy. Okay, that's good. That hides the sticky notes. That might be useful later. Okay, I think I've clicked on all the stuff. All right. It wouldn't surprise me if there is going to be a segment where they have, like, uh, oh, someone's breaking in, hide all the evidence type deal. Breakout, send me this dossier about what was really happening inside Arcadia. It was revealing. Poor Gus Rainey. He's probably pushing up daisies now. Okay, so if someone tries to break in, I already pressed that thing down. I would just need to get rid of this, get rid of this, uh, erase that, hide this book. I think that's it. One, two, three, four. Because I feel like this is, it's, it's going to be that type of sequence, but we'll see. One second. Yeah, TCH is back on top, baby. TCH? My high score initials. TCH, Trevor Clarence Hills. <laughs> Your middle name is Clarence? Yes, ma'am. Like the angel in It's a Wonderful Life. Dear George, remember, no man is a failure who has friends. <laughs> Fine, Trevor Clarence. Listen, we're going to- Wait, wait are, are you sure nobody's looking for me in here? You're completely unknown in this city. Let's take advantage of that, shall we? Famous last words. <laughs> oh, that's good, that's good. So now the tape is what gives us admin permissions. Okay. You should go to like a barber shop and change your look because they know what you look like and your clothes. Oh, I don't have the sticker anymore. Let's get rid of an arcade. Uh oh. Uh oh. My fellow citizens, please pay close attention to the man in this picture. This is 28 year old Trevor Hills. What on earth? A resident of the Point Siena Drive district. This man is responsible for a serious incident that occurred today at 4.30 p.m. in the Arcadia Central Station. Lie number one. The serious incident in the Arcadia Central Station was me running for my life. Hills is a severely unstable individual and may represent a threat not only to himself, but to every other citizen of or visitor to Arcadia. Lie number two. I'm not severely unstable, <laughs> or, or at least I wasn't unstable at that time. And look at me, for God's sake, who could I possibly represent a threat to? If you see this individual, please immediately report him to local authorities. Save the we wouldn't resort to these extreme measures if it weren't absolutely necessary. But our priority is to ensure the well-being and safety of everyone oh, in Arcadia. No. <laughs> and that makes three lies in a row. She couldn't care less about our safety. That was exactly the reason why I was running. Vivian has declared that she made that statement to, and I quote, ensure Mr. Hill's physical well-being. Oh, of course. She described me as if I were the next Jack the Ripper to ensure my physical well-being. Give me a break. I'm Arcadia's public enemy number one. What do I do now? For now, make sure you're not seen. Yeah, people are going to notice me. Damn, it's the Beastie Boys again. They've sent the interceptors to get that wimpy guy. Yeah, that wimpy guy has given us the slip a couple of times now. Told you they were going to call in the cavalry. 
So why isn't the Robocop army here in the mall? Yeah, they look too sci-fi for the average citizen. Unlike us. Hey. What did I do to that horrible woman? She hates my guts! I told you evil bitch suited her better. Hexagon, any news about Hills? Right there. Hey, it's Trevor hey. Hills. Send the drone. Hexagon, elevator oh. stop. Oh wait, you're serious? Even if they're in the elevator? Okay, I guess it's glass elevator, whatever. Hexagon, any news about Hills? Yes, we got all exits covered. He's not getting out of the mall. We'll play the warning on the PA system soon. Oh, I get it. Now I can go. And there was an agent coming up the escalator behind me. Oh, this is not good. Not good at all. Uh, you gotta try not to be recognized somehow. There we go. Put on some clothes. Uh, grab those clothes, Trevor. Let's... Hey, you look just like Steven Spielberg. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Do you think this will do the trick? Let's hope so. Yeah, I'm sure not for long. The fan Say, on. Isn't that... Nah, doesn't fit the description. Uh, that guy looks like Steven Spielberg. Good, good. Nobody's paying attention to you now. Whew, that's a relief. Okay, Angela, what's the plan now? Oh, right, yeah, I forgot to tell you. Okay, plan B. Aren't we already at C? Whatever. We need to get you into a rental car. Rental car? You mean, like a Swift? You know I won't be able to drive if I hear those noises, right? Don't worry about it. As soon as you hear them, just let me know and I'll do the driving. Remotely. And what about after that? You slip through the dome's exit and congratulations, you're a free man. The dome? What on earth is the dome? Oh, wait, let me guess. I'm about to discover another one of Arcadia's intricate lies, right? Sure. Sort of. Backdrops in this game are amazing. They did a really good job on the background. Your attention, please. This is a message from Arcadia Security Forces. We believe the fugitive Trevor Hills may be inside this premises. Man. This building is a complete lockdown. Refrain from leaving the Blue Fountain Mall until further notice. Thank you. This constant jumping from the frying pan into the fire is exhausting! Get inside the parking garage, Trevor. I'll figure something out. Droid docking station there. I know I'm always asking, what is that? But what is that? A docking station allows a qualified stage technician with admin permissions to control and or manipulate whatever automated personnel is attached to it. Now I can control that droid would have been enough for me. multiple buttons at the same time <laughs> I understand why they say you know use a controller if you can here we are this is the Swift car pickup area look at the charge status screen we huh. need a full battery to get to the edge of the dome looks like the one in the top right seems to be the only one with a full battery good then take that one and let's get the hell out of here hey okay. that's so I assume we're on the bottom floor. So we go up four floors and to the right too. Oh, oh, oh! Look at that car on the end! What? What? Something wrong with that red car? It's not a red car, Angela. 
It's a Sunlight Chrome Rush 166M. The most perfect work of engineering ever designed. And my favorite car. I don't know, man. All cars look alike to me. Uh, stay there while I bring your perfect work of engineering to you. Okay. So what do I do? Move the car. I don't move. Okay. Can I put a yellow card here? The yellow card's smaller. Can I put a green card on it? I can't make that fit into one on the platform. Okay, that won't even go. Alright, let's see the move back. No, I won't even move back. And then the ones that are covered up will move all. I need to get... Oh, yo, what? Wait, okay, I'm gonna do this. Okay, I can't put it. Okay, I'm gonna have enough battery reach though. There we go. Move it back. There we go. Get out of the way. Now we move the yellow card. There we go. Simple. Now we do the red one. Yeah, there's someone gonna notice us in this red, nice looking car. Oh my, look at this sweet ride. Shining aerodynamic lines, a masterpiece of craftsmanship that combines- I hate to interrupt your beautiful love story with an inanimate object, but we'd better get a move on. Sheesh, fine. Let's get going. Uh, Angela? Yes? Can you tell me a little about that dome you mentioned earlier? Oh, yeah. That. Hey. Live from the Arcadia Dome, I'm wow, your that host, chapter three. Vivian Walton, and this is American Arcadia. Whew, oh my, oh my, looks like a storm is gathering. And no, I'm not talking about the three-day blizzard that the weathermen have predicted. Here in Arcadia, we're safe from all of that inside our precious weather-controlling dome. Thanks for that, Grandpa Elijah. What I'm talking about is something that some of you Tiffanyers might already know. If you were one of the 2.6 million viewers who yesterday watched the passionate stolen kiss between supermodel Tiffany Amber Gaines uh. and, oh boy, Steve Just's best friend, Logan Krakowski. I guess that explains the argument they had last Sunday during the Adams game, huh? My Nasty Remark of the Week award goes to user AppleSphinx91, who posted, No wonder why Tiffany broke up with him. There's only one person Steve Just could actually fall in love with, and that is himself. Woohoo! Okay. That burns! The polls are on fire. 34% believe Tiffany had every reason to give Steve the boot. But look at this. 58% and rising are in favor of the Tiffany Logan romance. Log in to your AA Live oh app Lord. now and let us know your thoughts. Just watching people and voting we on we can't them. forget our loyal justifiers who are supporting their idol Steve Just and think that Tiffany and Logan's relationship is simply going nowhere. Uh-oh. Everything okay, Trevor? How's the car battery? Oh, wow, a lot of stuff happened there in that chapter. I uh, I was surprised with how long that chapter was going to actually be, but man, it is such a good one, though. Now we have our dream car, and uh, let's see how far we get with it. <laughs> but anyway, great game thus far. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Have you guys been uh, watching this to the you know uh, from beginning to end thus far? really amazing i'm looking forward to seeing what in the world is going to happen here because no way this is this is just going to go as easy it is right yeah so as we start chapter four uh let's see what happens and if we can get out but anyway you guys take care be safe make sure you like the video make sure you guys subscribe and uh we'll be back for more in the future take care bye for now